Janky AF presents It's Cruisin' for Cars with Corn. And welcome back to another episode of uh, Cruisin' for Cars with Corn. Um, brought to you by Janky AF. I'm going to share the screen right now. I'm recording right now. I oh, missed my cue window, but that's alright. Um, we're going to click on Janky AF in 3, 2, 1, click. There we go. Um, so, Janky AF, Janky Automobile Fabricacion, brought to you a uh, subsidiary of Janky Painting and Toilet Company, LLC, and brought to you unofficially by Old Milwaukee Non-Alcoholic. It's America's non-alcoholic near beer. Here, here. Old Milwaukee Non-Alcoholic unofficially uh, bringing you, powering, we should say, uh, Janky AF and Cruising for Cars of Corn. So, let's get right to it. Now, we were previously looking at this Buick Roadmaster. We're going to like broaden our search here. We're not going to go straight up Buick. We're going to look for some cars in New Jersey and see what they have to offer in the used market. Now, Janky AF is my attempt to... Uh, sort of reinvent some some old classics. I'm looking for cars that usually are not too old. Uh, I like them to be, if possible, 25 years or older so they can qualify for classic insurance. Um, now, if you have classic insurance in New York State anyways, um, you can get, um, one, it's just way cheaper if you with your Haggerty or someone else, um, you've established the, the um, value of the car, they insure it, they have great customer service, roadside assistance available, um, so, you know, your investment's protected, and, um, it's a lot cheaper than regular insurance. Now, now, these vehicles, I'm sort of designing them to be very reliable, you know, you could take them on a long trip if you needed to, if you maintain them, that is, after you purchase them, of course, um, but, uh, you know, they're, they're cars you can enjoy on the weekends, um, you know, taking nice scenic drives here and there, going on a little camping trip, running the grocery store. I find just getting in something different, especially an older car, it brings you back, you know, it's a really nostalgic experience, and you can uh, appreciate so many things about these vehicles, and it's just a unique experience. So, we're looking for the cheapest cars and trucks, and uh, New Jersey, actually, this is funny because this is a Buick. I think I looked at this posting. The car hasn't started for a while, but it works. Need it out of the garage ASAP. Looks like it's uh, not great pictures. I don't like that they don't list a price. Sometimes you'll see a price that says $1,200, and the person says, I'm asking $1,800 for it. It's like, well, why don't you just put an $1,800 category then? This Delsol 5 speed. This is really great. 180,000. See, 3,000 are best offer. Now, they wrote a 3 there, so I guess that makes sense, and they want people to see it in the low category. So, fair enough. Front wheel drive car, if I'm not mistaken. It was the Civic Del Sol. I don't know anything about Del Sols, but it's a Honda, and I've always been attracted to these. I love the little sort of, you know, straight back window here. Kind of resembles a mid engine car design. Um, <clears throat> and, you know, I don't care about speed, I'll just come right out and say it, like, I crashed a Honda Civic once, driving too fast, and, you know, that was enough for me, I'm not really a, a super adrenaline junkie or anything like that, um, and, uh, you know, you can, uh, do dangerous things if you want to in just about any car, now this, uh, Honda Civic, or Honda Del Sol, Civic Del Sol. I love these seats. I always look for aftermarket seats to put in cars. It's one of the things in Janky AF I think is a really nice, it's actually not that cheap, but somewhat cheap way to like really change the dyna dynamics of the vehicle if you put some like plush red, um, you know, velour seats or something in a, like a newer car. A lot of seats oftentimes are really get really beat up, you know especially with high mileage cars, and replacing the seats is just like a kind of a cool thing you can do to change the character of the vehicle. Love the color, love the teal, love this big stick, 
shift. I'm not sure if that actual stock is standard. There's something there. Love the real high e brake. You know, and it's a Honda, so in theory, it's very reliable. Um, yeah, cool car. Very cool car. A little bit out of my price range for three grand, and um, you know, I like the color so much. I don't know if I would want to paint it. I'm not crazy about these sort of light tinters. Um, good condition for its age, well taken care of. Nice car. Probably not. You know, you got to be selective. You really got to find things that are going to be, um, you know, have like a theme or have a, um, you know, just an aura to them. And you don't know what that's going to be until you find it. Now, this is the problem with Craigslist. There are all these ads everywhere for bullshit. Pardon my French. I love these these takeovers. These takeovers to me are sad price is fifteen hundred it says two hundred eighty dollars and then in the ad there's a text that says price is fifteen hundred so I just love the jankiness of Craigslist I love everything about it new radiator hoses new radiator new thermostat ready for overland adventures overland I guess it's a big thing nowadays huh fifteen hundred dollars TRD supercharger that sounds kind of like bogus to me I don't know. the land the luxury SUVs are real hot right now um, yeah, that's that's good. I gotta say, I like cars. I like sedans. I love a four door sedan. Something about it is just like you know, it's everything you need. These takeovers. I probably shouldn't be shopping in New Jersey. Nothing against New Jersey, but I feel like it's one of those states you probably get a lot of these ads. Here's an MGB, 1970 MGB for five hundred fifty dollars. Not running in seven years. Well, been there, been down that road. I'm dealing, dealing with it currently with my Fiat. I've always liked NGBs. I think they're just one of them. Now, here's a here's a cheap solution for a car with a ratty top like this. Just do, do away with the roof. Put, like, a roll bar in there and just have it as a car you only drive on sunny days. If it starts to rain, well, it's not like, you know... Again, this is the great thing about getting in low. It's like you don't need... You know, even, like, Leno talks about... The great Jay Leno talks about having a car that's, you know, a kid can sit on it, sit in it, like, you can, it doesn't matter if you scuff it up, you know, the cars I paint, they, eventually, they will patina, you know, like, as any car does, um, and that's sort of part of the joy of just growing with your vehicle. Cool car. Probably looking at a lot of money to get that thing going probably more than it's worth put into it, and that's the sad thing, is these cars are great for, like, you know, resto mods or something, because to get them up to snuff, I love these Mitsubishi Galants, I love Galants, something about Gran Turismo, I think I had a Galant, and I think that's one of just one of the coolest front-end stylings, now, this one is jankified to the max, nice bungee cord set up, it's like running a dual bungee cord here, <laughs> it's, this windshield's all smashed up, this is a piece, Oh, tr tr they're running a three bungee cord setup. Oof. Nice steel wheels, though. See, now, you could what you could do with this, if you really wanted to take this on, swap out seats, put something cool in there, paint steel rims, paint the car, and just, just run with that. You know what I would do is I would get... Yeah, windshield, under 16 bucks, not bad, actually. Let's <laughs> make... I want to talk myself into this. You know what I would do is is I would try to find someone who could make a really cool, like, wooden grill to put in there. And then buy a Mitsubishi symbol, maybe not one that's, you know, stock, and maybe a big one or something, put it in there. Or get a Mitsubishi in script and write it, find an old park at Mitsubishi in script. Let's look on eBay for some uh, Mitsubishi logos real quick. Now that we're going to go down this rabbit hole with this Galant. I don't know anything about the engines in the Galants if they're reliable or anything. I didn't even check the mileage, but we're going down a rabbit hole, so. eBay, you can find some great old badges and stuff, and a lot of them are fake, you know, but whatever. So get this, right? Mitsubishi with the script. It's like a carbon fiber mock-up. And then put it over. I wonder if it... Let's search wood car grill. 
see if there's any. I use a koja, by the way, which is pretty funny. Supposedly they plant trees for every time you make searches, so, you know, why not? You can, and the nice thing about a koja is you can just default, you can just hit more, and you can go straight to Google if the results aren't, you know, giving you what you want. And this is a, oh, this is a wooden truck. Oh my god. All wood Ford pickup. That is incredible. I'm gonna have to save this image. That is amazing. So now just make like this, see this little grill, but I would do it with, you know, like more, I wouldn't do the logo like that, but whatever, you know, um, wooden grill, get it to fit, scribe it out or whatever you gotta do, pay someone to do it, find a nice craftsman, the CNC machine perhaps, you could probably make a really cool one, I know a couple people have CNC machines now, um, you know, but, it, and then you just, you just, you run with it. You know, you, may, you turn it into a race car, paint it with a great race car livery. Nothing like a beat-up race car at the end of the race that, you know, it looks like shit, but it's, you know, like you look at the end of most NASCAR races, the cars are beat to shit, you know? Um, just means that it's a uh, workhorse. So, you know, runs and drives, no check engine light, but a lot of body damage, the windshield smashed, 600 bucks, 168,000 miles. Not terrible. That would be a project, but that would be kind of a cool, fun one. That would be a hard sell. You know, the race cars you really have to sell people on that sort of aesthetic. Explorer, Mini Cooper, Ooh, Firebird, T Top, $800. Hello. 80000 It's an auto. That's fine. I cruise around town a bit. Automatic transmissions, like, I guess. You know, I get the manual thing. I really, I, I, I strongly prefer manuals, but I love these G, it's GM era. These buttons were just so big and doofy. <laughs> I love it. It's actually quite a nice interior for 90s GM. I like this wrap around. I love those 90s Mustangs, the big wrap around here and the big wrap around the SN95s, I believe. Seats look thick. They're in pretty good condition. I like the big Firebird seats. The Pontiac was so awesome this time period. They just went for it. Look at that rear end. It's so cool. Like, sort of... I don't... I despise spoilers, but if they're built into the car, I can, like, get behind it. You know, non-functional spoilers. The taillights, I mean, the blacked out with the honeycomb. It's so cool. Now, I don't mind this at all. Again, you could do something really cool with that. Um... It's actually not, it's, it reminds me of a Corvette C5 color, this like bronze. Not a bad color, but you'd be painting this thing for sure. I've always wanted to paint car with pop up headlights and do like every body panel different. Like what were those golfs that, um, that was a bad search, but I feel like it's going to work. Yeah, I'm going to Harlequin Golf. This is such a cool, easy, cheap way to do like a really cool um, color. And I've seen Mustangs and stuff painted with this scheme or this livery, I guess you want to call it. Um, but that's just such a, I love, like when I paint my toilets, I love just following the, the contours and the lines. And it really makes you pay attention to where the body lines are. Now famously the Carmen Ghia has like no cutouts in it, which is amazing. Um, but uh, it's like one solid piece. Um, now I will say what, what, what I, I think this is such an interesting design aspect is where you decide to draw these contours because like on, on a lot of the new Porsches, for example, let's look at 2017 Porsche 911, I feel like they cut their lines in a weird spot that doesn't actually jive with the design of the car, but I, I might just be... Yeah, the fact that it's like straight here, I guess it's not, I guess that's a bad example. But some of these Porsches I remember not being crazy about where the actual body lines were cut. You know, very minor thing, but nonetheless, if you're doing this, it really points it out where those lines are, like that little, you know, the super little curly cue down there, equidistant all the way down. It's just very, very cool. Um, 
and this Firebird. I think we were looking at that. You know, right there. Right there's one. That would be kind of cool. Straight up and down. I guess I just prefer like straight up and down body lines. Just cause that's what I'm getting at. I'm sorry, I didn't even read what the condition of this was. This body work, not enough to keep off the road. Great restoration project. Low miles, 80,000 miles. Great stock sound. Good sound system. Hey, in a pleasure cruiser like this, you're going to probably want a good sound system. Pewter metallic gray. Glass T-top. Pretty great. Running condition. Man, how much in the box? This is a good, this is a good Janky AF project. Down in Patterson, New Jersey. Whew, I like that. Let's see if we can find one nice, nice. Ooh, I do love me a Ford Escort. I love all 90s Ford. I'm such a sucker for it. 850. Cash only. 114 miles. Clean title. Starts, runs, and drives well. AC and heat both work. New brakes installed in New York State. Inspection done recently. That's good. If you can get a car, it's just been inspected. Great commuter car. Port Jervis, New York, 850 cash only. Alright, that's a great little ditty. I love these little escorts. Not too bad. A little bit of rust. White, and you know, white is, it's already a blank canvas, it's just, just waiting to be painted. Just a great, ooh, it just looks so friendly. Plastic mirrors. Again, the round era. And it was just like the it was like a junior Taurus. A lot of Toyota Corolla in there. These lines right here. A lot of Toyota Corolla. I just love the way the hoods are cut out. Just circles everywhere. It's great. The Taurus has had those famous round center consoles. I love the Taurus from this era. Mechanic special. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Here's what I was talking about with these Bonnevilles. 3800 motor, engine runs strong, transmission is good, brand new tires. Now, I, some of these Bonnevilles, I saw another Bonneville, I forget where it was, um, had almost like BBS style wheels. I think even like with some gold on them that were like on some package or something, but they were stock in some form or another. And those wheels are amazing. A car like that, just for the wheels alone, such a cool look already. I mean, BBS wheels, you know, on these Bonnevilles, it just works. It's long body. One of the most beautiful cars of Pontiac, for sure. When the, the Grand Dams and the Grand Prix, Pontiac's later years, they got pretty, pretty wild with the scoops and the flares. Almost not, not, not too distant from, you know, sort of the exaggerated style of some of those boats and those Cadillacs and stuff in the 50s and 60s. It just got so outrageous. But this is so understated. Just enough body lines. For some reason, these are right up there with the Sabres. I wish I could see a side profile shot. Man, now I really want to find this other Bonneville. Let's take a let's take a a wild stab at it. Might have been an Albany. I looked at a lot of cars on Craigslist. Slow to you know. Yeah, there's a little saber right there. Let's see. 2006, this one, I had no picture. 2000, no, that's not, that doesn't have the wheels. Anyways, these PBS wheels are so cool. That's not bad, $192,900. Wow, that's actually a great deal. If everything's like they say it is. So $900,000 is the perfect price point for it. You got, it's got to be running. I mean, on the Buick, I've replaced all my brake lines with, you know, corrosion-free. That's probably a good thing to do, especially from the car of the Northeast. So you're looking at another brand there. And then, you know, if the engine and transmission are good and your, your underbody's all good, catalytic converter's fine, your exhaust and all that, then... You know, you got a pretty solid base. This would look good great in a red, I think. Oh, that green is nice too. 
Oh, C-70s. Is this what I'm thinking of? I remember reading Car and Driver, and there was a comparison test between all these... I think the Volvo... Ford Ranger. I think the Volvo uh, came in last, dead last. Um, where did that run off to? Oh, Lotus Evora. Holy shit. Oh, boy. Okay, well, this is a total... Let me forget about that other one for a second. Look at this, 99,000, Ford Taurus, Ford sedan, low miles, 99,000, six-cylinder, automatic, full power, everything, works cold AC and good heat, all caps, no check engine light, only 300 miles, and tires, battery, muffler, caps were changed four years ago, good eventual car, classic car, no New Jersey inspection required, thousand dollars, firm, quote, I love firm in quotation marks, <laughs> new owner must sign and date title, car sold as is, no guarantees or returns, phone calls only, no, if you don't answer, leave voice message, no text or emails, answer. You know, I kind of don't mind that. I kind of like when people are a little bit paranoid and, like, kind of, um, you know, I don't know if obstinate's the right word, but just have their guard up a little bit because I don't want my time wasted either. Oof. This color is, I wonder if this is factory. That's a pretty nice royal blue. God, this Taurus, people don't, it looks just like an Audi 100, an Audi 90. When this Taurus came out, it was it was a game changer. These sold like hotcakes. Nice interior. See, put some red seats in there. Let's go looking for some seats real quick. Now seats are not cheap. I thought they would be cheaper. Plus, you gotta either be local and pick them up, or get them shipped, and that's not. Let's search OEM front seats. Now I'm gonna type in red because I really want some red ones. Red is the most common sort of, I guess, exotic seat color. So look at this, Buick Riviera. We were just talking about Rivieras. Red leather seat set. Now 450 bucks. It's not that much when you think about it. For you know, you're going to be sitting in these things. It's a main. It's a pretty main feature of the car, aesthetically and comfort-wise. Two hundred eighty dollars. But if you want to go to Marshallville, Ohio. If it's worth it for you for your gas and all that, you can pick them up. 25% off, 600 I would still try to make an offer for lower. But, you know, presumably these have all the rails. I don't know how the electronics would be wired together for the power stuff, but I would imagine it's not that hard to find an electrician or something. Look at those seats. Oh, my goodness. So you put these seats. I wonder if you get the backs, too, if it's just for the fronts. It was for all of them. Front rear. Okay, so that's... You know, you're getting the whole set. If you put those in this thing, red seats, oh my goodness, it would look so cool. And then maybe, I don't know, you're probably going to paint it. Look at that. Almost looks, that might be the exact dashboard from the Aerostar. It looks very similar. You know, people complain about part spin, but like it, 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 it makes a lot of sense. And, and it's just, you know, if something works... I love these bumpers. I love everything about this car. Boy, that is nice. I don't know too much about these V6 engines. Although it fits the Vulcan V6, the 3-liter Vulcan V6. Yeah, that was in the Aerostar. I think they're pretty dependable motors. Very similar to the Aerostar in terms of the just sort of horizontal side profile lines. Beautiful. You'd probably want to paint it, but that's nice. And see, I, I like a car that actually needs paint. It's kind of shitty in the interior because, you know, that's where, that's where I can actually provide some value in terms of making it beautiful. A thousand bucks. All right, I'll find one more. I like the older Focuses, like the first generation Focus. I really like. After that, I'm not totally sold on it. I love new Beetles. The old new Beetles, I guess we should say. I've always wanted to get one. It's a manual, 186,000. Electric windows, two inch lift kit, that's kind of funny. Log book that I started to keep track of everything we did, that's pretty cool. Blue heater core, yeah. I'm getting into overheat, don't know if it overheated or not. You know, this is like. 
maybe a little much. But for a thousand bucks, a manual beetle is pretty cool. And, you know, these actually, I would love to paint one of these because they're so iconic and everything. They have cool lines, but I actually struggle with how to paint this. I guess you could probably do a harlequin version of this, which would probably just be the the coolest way to do it. Now look at these lines right through the taillights. That's an interesting choice. It kind of works. It kind of goes right through it. I love the little hatchback on these. Just The styling was very, very clean on these. I really, really like it. I know they sort of look a little cartoonish next to the new new Beatles, which I also like a lot, but um, I don't know. It was of a time and place, and I think it was really, I had a book about this car, I love, I mean, when they brought that back, it was, like, so cool, man, first gen Dodge Neons are so hard to find, I always want to find one of those, a lot of Foresters recently, oh, here's a Buick I was looking at, 88 Buick Park Avenue, this had, I believe, the pre-series one, 3800 in it, same as the Riata, and this was actually technically, I think, the Electra, and then the Park Avenue was the trim model. I'm not sure when they officially switched to a, just a Park Avenue. Any car, any car, I think it's a fuel injection sticker, any car that brags about fuel injection, I love. I love that era. My Aerostar is a electronic fuel ignition, uh, or, yeah, um, fuel injection. Look at that, look at that interior. Just like this purplish maroon brown. Now, no airbag in this car. I will say I do like cars that have airbags just because, you know, if it's going to be a car a teenager's driving or, you know, janky AF cars would be great first cars. And I and the fact they're so ostentatious is good because her parents, you know, like the cops know that car if you're in like a town or something. You know, look at this great Buick look on the backside. And I love how the, I never, just realizing this, the hood opens up backwards like a Corvette or something. How cool is that? 3800, there you go. Same as in the Riata. Spare tire. God, beautiful. But the paint's faded. You got some things going on. Probably do for a paint job. You do something so cool with this. Again, that flat back window that was real stylish for a long time. Chrysler's Buicks. Ford didn't really get into that. Beautiful car. 124,000. I love these big sweeping speedometers. My my 95 with Sabre has that just all the way up and down. Don't need to know that <laughs> he cares what RPMs you're doing. It's not going to be high. One owner, clean title. Tires in excellent condition. Two are brand new. New brake lines, garage cap for conveyance. Hopefully they're good brake lines. Hopefully you installed, you know, new corrosion-resistant brake lines. No state inspection required. It runs. It needs a fuel pump. So yeah, I'm not a mechanic, so I don't know. What does that mean? It can make a journey, or am I going to get starved for fuel? White wall tires, man, beauty. Twelve hundred bucks. Might just see if I can get a thousand. Do it for a thousand cash. I think that's fair. Well, I'm getting to be almost thirty minutes now. Time just flies by, but thanks for uh, cruising for some cars and corn. Um, brought to you by Janky AF, a subsidiary of Janky Painting and Toilet Company LLC. Uh, brought to you very unofficially by Old Milwaukee, uh, America's non-alcoholic near beer, here, here.